How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. American Pale Ale time, in the form of Trillium Brewings. Um, little Rooster, American Pale Ale. Uh, yeah, new beer. Super excited to give it a whirl. Um, yeah, a, a different a series, I guess you would say, from any of the series I've ever reviewed from Trillium. They're starting to um, um, kind of branch out series-wise. Um, uh, and beer wise um, when I first started reviewing our beers essentially everything came in at 750 it was just our own beer now they're starting to do a lot of like you know what I mean their sour side of things this one they call their little bird series um, here it has a little rooster on it mm, little rooster uh, what else it says on the can itself it says little rooster American pale ale small bird series Trillium brewing this is a 5 right 5.8% alcohol by volume American pale ale well and uh I'm going to tell you what, kind of dig it. That, I have been informed by my wonderful girlfriend, that that, that is probably a well summer rooster. The more you know. Uh, yeah, she, I asked her, I'm like, pick out three beers um, for me to uh, to review today. Because I didn't sure what I wanted to do, and she, I knew she'd pick this one. I kind of wanted to do this one. One of the reasons why I asked her, um, she actually lives on a farm. Um, so she raises uh, chickens, so she knows such things. So she's like, I think that's the well summer rooster. So for those out there... Probably right. I don't know. It's a little kind of a, you know, what do you want to call it? Take a little bit of liberty with drawing on there. Anyway, enough rambling. Um, nice little different series from uh, Trillium to dive into. So here we go. Let's give it a whirl. Anyway, so yes. Beautiful little pale ale goodness. American pale ale goodness. Hopeful goodness. Um, I haven't had many... Trillium beers that really have steered me sideways. Um, I just did have one that was kind of a little bit off for me. Um, but they've garnered so much cachet that I'm willing to let at least one or two or three or four or five slide. Because beers are typically pretty badass. Um, three fingers of an infinitely uh, large head. Let's go that way. That's a bigger head. It's a tall pour. Big, huge glass. This is from their kind of uh, soured series. So I just want to do a little proper esque glassware going on but it's a rockier head a little bit of creaminess to it pretty neurotic bubbles throughout you can see pretty deep into the beer and it's got a nice kind of soft orange um with a tint tint hair tint of brownish kind of hue in this core of it so yeah it's it, 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 they going for a little five percent american pale but what you're getting here visually is a pretty robust kind of hazy new england style ipa so yeah She's definitely pretty damn vibrant, let's put it that way. Color's just off in color, just like just north of white, just south of khaki. Let's even get a nose on her. <sighs> hmm. That's like really fresh, unripened um, peaches and citrus I'm getting on this one. But it's like skin. It's not like fruit, fleshy, kind of um, ro robust, kind of like um, a matured, kind of ripened fruit. It's more of a fleshy kind of vibe, a little bit more earthy. Yeah, so you get a little bit of that peaches, a little bit of citrus, and a little bit of sweet malt. It smells like there's some extra hopping going on there, some kind of greeniness from the hop itself. But yeah, 5.8% pale ale. This does not smell like that. This smells like a more bigger, more robust kind of beer, um, kind of verging into the, kind of the extra dry hopped kind of uh, IPA realm. But she smells pretty damn good, let's put it that way. So she looks good. She smells good. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. That's not too bad. More bittering, um, more bittering than sweet. On the nose, you expect a little bit more sweetness because of that helping, keeping helping a fruitiness in there. But you were getting that kind of greenness from the hop, so it kind of makes sense. More of a generic kind of bitterness, maybe a little bit of kind of danky weediness to it. More of a generic bitterness, um, a nice kind of extra hopped, kind of dry hopped kind of um, dryness to it and bitterness to it. The fruit is there, but it's underneath all that bitterness, and there's a little bit of sweet malt kind of right at where that kind of fruitiness is too. Really big, robust beer for such a small beer. You know, this definitely drinks closer to the 7% range, not closer to the 5% range. Nice mouthfeel. Nothing too dense, nothing too turbid. Just a nice kind of mouthfeel to it. Kind of clean for as hazy as it is. But yeah, definitely skewing on the bitter side of things. And pretty damn tasty. A crusher, a summer crusher, but in delivering 
or in a kind of big beer kind of package. It, it, it kind of gives you those kind of 7% hazy for days kind of vibes, but in a 5% kind of uh, delivery system, which is pretty fucking cool if you ask me. That's what I'm looking for here. I'm looking for big, um, for beers like this, I should say. I'm looking for big, robust, um, memorable beers in a smaller package because I don't want to chug 7 8% beers all day. Hmm. Oh, well, I do, but my brain and stomach and liver don't. Um, so, yeah, nice. More on a bittering side. Nice little bit of fruit, more kind of in the nose than anything else, but it's definitely there in the mouth. Enough sweetness kind of bounce off that bitterness, but it's definitely leaning on the bitter edge of things and drinks way bigger than what it actually is, which is a pretty fun fucking uh, fun trip. So, yeah. Super exciting stuff. Uh, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better... I don't want to say base pale ales, because you look at it, you know, and there's absolutely bonkers amount of hop additions going on. You know, this is not just a base pale ale, but um, I would say one of your new school New England style pale ales, one of the better ones I've had is like, yeah. Um, usually I'm kind of go bonkers over that super sweet juiciness. This one is a bit more bittering, but the balance in it works for me. So this one kind of is a little bit better a lot of the kind of the run-of-the-mill clone trying to be all the same kind of beer stands out from those let's put it that way uh value availability don't know my buddy brad you met brad the old comparable meat smoke picked this up for me a couple weeks ago may 17th on this can this is uh, the 10th of june so about three weeks old picked it up for me a couple weeks ago on his um on his way back from uh portland actually oregon too which sounds weird you think he'd be coming for me no he went from portland oregon to uh boston that home uh, i picked it up for me so Someone else will have to chime in and all that. And, but it's Trillium, so you're probably looking about, for a small ABV beer like this, probably $18 a four-pack. Probably brewery only, most likely. It'll probably hit draft lines in and around the area, but at the same time, Trillium's distribution is pretty good right now, so you usually, usually can pick up any of their beers without having to you know, miss out, I guess you'd say. And just say if you like what we like this. If you like your New England-style, hazy-style IPAs um, that is what turns you on, but you want them in a smaller package. You're getting the best of what those beers deliver in, you know, a sub-6% um, beer, which is pretty fucking tasty. So if that's what you're looking for, it's definitely worth picking up. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did, didn't, anywhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, untapped. Massive beers. All four of those places. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice, easy pail today. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.